Benny? Sir, please step to the podium and give us your name and address, please. Name and address? Okay, I'm Jeff Page. I'm at 207 Washington Road in Lake Forest. And um, I know you've covered a lot of things, and certainly the police chief is aware of a lot of this, but <clears throat> I think I would just go over this, and I can email the comments I will make to anyone who wants it. So I've lived within a mile of Market Square for 30 years, and Saturday, September 2nd, I was coming out of Ferentino's and was almost hit by two girls riding on bikes on the sidewalk. They showed no remorse, and they just kept on going. So obviously it wasn't a big issue for them. I was upset, so I went to Facebook, Lake Forest, Lake Bluff neighbors uh, page, and posted to see if anyone else had similar experiences. Within two days, we had almost 200 comments. Another woman also made posts there in the city of Lake Forest for a total of, total of 350 comments. Many said they wanted an ordinance and enforcement of not allowing scooters and bikes on sidewalks downtown. Some people didn't believe it was an issue, so I went to monitor it. Saturday, September 2nd, I went to Market Square at 2.30, and I saw 20 people riding scooters and bikes on the sidewalks. Saturday, September 9th, I went to Market Square at 2, and in 30 minutes, I saw another 20 people riding on the sidewalks. Thursday, September 14th, I went to the corner at Walgreens, Deer Path and uh, Western, from 3.30 to 4. Deer Path Middle School gets out at 3.35. Obviously, this is the busiest intersection in Lake Forest. I saw 35 people riding scooters and bikes on the sidewalk in 30 minutes. I must admit, I took videos of those people on the sidewalks, and some people were upset. I took videos because many people didn't believe me or thought it wasn't a big issue. I stopped doing it and never posted on face, Facebook. Friday, just this last Friday, at se September 15th, I went to the corner of Deer Path and Western Avenue from 3.30 to 4.30. I saw 123 people on scooters and bikes at that intersection in one hour. 123 in one hour? That brings the total to 195 people I've seen on this, with scooters or bikes on the sidewalks around Market Square to Walgreens. 195 within three and a half hours in four days. Three weekdays and one Saturday. Friday, there was an accident near Market Square. A woman who told me about it didn't see the accident, but was there shortly afterwards. Apparently, a girl was hit and didn't have a helmet on. The woman described the friends and the driver as horrified. In the 60s and 80s, when I grew up here in the 60s and 70s, there were rules not to ride bikes on sidewalks that were strictly enforced. I would never imagine riding my bikes downtown. I propose an ordinance for not riding bikes and scooters on sidewalks on Western Avenue from either Fresh Market, I mean, I can understand Woodland, but there's a little bit more uh, space there from Woodland to Fresh Market, to Walgreens, ideally, as the police chief said, all the way to Illinois, because I saw a lot of people going down uh, from uh, Deer Path to Illinois, going downhill, going very fast, and obviously you got Dunkin' Donuts and a, a lot of businesses there. Um, and then from uh, Western Avenue, to on Deer Path from Western Avenue to Oakwood and including Market Square. You've already covered this. I proposed um, a warning and then tickets for violations. Mr. Page, and, um, excuse me. Pardon? Can I interrupt you for a second? Yes. We actually have an ordinance in front of us that outlines an area where we are talking about restricting this. It sounds great. So, you know, if, can you please finish up with your comments. I yeah, I'm almost done. I propose replacing the five existing signs currently saying walk bikes with larger signs saying walk bikes and scooters and include the ordinance number. And to add uh, signs at Oakwood, at, at Oakwood, uh, at, oh, I'm sorry, at Oakwood, at Woodland, and at Illinois that are bigger than the current ones. And, um, and particularly, uh, you know, monitoring, particularly around Market Square and the intersection of Western and Deer Path. And if it's necessary, I could understand 
I can provide the videos I took to police or the city council. And you can go to these Facebook pages. One is the uh, Lake Forest, Lake Bluff neighbors. And then we also post it on the city of Lake Forest. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other public comments on this matter? Please step up, name and address, please. Hello, my name is Katie Manley and I live at 837 Valley Road. And I'm here today just as a concerned mom. Um, I have a daughter who rides a scooter. Um, I'm with my daughter, her friends on a regular basis. There is a, a real divide in the community, obviously, between the riders and the non-riders. The children I know are not getting on their scooter in the morning saying, I want to speed around and hurt someone. They need education but the community as a whole needs education because there's a backlash now. We have individuals filming our children multiple days um, and posting about it. There are many... I never posted. You posted your comments about it. We can discuss that later. We're, please, don't interrupt me, please. Please. We can discuss this. I am just here asking for communication, improvement on both sides. The children need to be educated. They're all in school right now at Deer Path, the elementary schools. What are we waiting for? Have someone in there tomorrow. The kids don't want to hurt people. They do not truly want any harm to anyone. But the children are now receiving comments from all sorts of people, even if they are walking their scooter. So it's just gotten out of hand on both ends. Parents are very concerned for everyone in the community, but the education needs to start tomorrow because this is getting out of hand and it's, it's just needs to be addressed sooner than later. And as a parent, I will do anything to help with education, I will help anyone that wants to get something going sooner than later. This, all these rules are great and they're needed, but we still have days before all of that is approved and all citizens, in including our children, need to feel safe in our town and right now they are not feeling safe because of certain comments and activities going on. So I just, from a mother's standpoint, I understand both sides and really it's just communication that is needed and it would help tremendously. So thank you. Thank you. 